Take a look at this wall. Let's say that I want to use an editable poly modifier on top of the stack and then start editing, like moving this face, for example. You will notice something weird happening. The UVs get a stretch or a squish, depending on how we move the geometry. That's because by default, 3D Match tries to preserve the shape of the model, but not necessarily the mapping. Now, in some cases, we can work around this by moving our UV maps modifier to the top of the modifier stack. That way, the texture projection stays clean. But this only works if your modifier stack has not been collapsed. Once everything is being collapsed, or if you're using several modifiers, it becomes a pain to fit. And that's where the preserve UV comes in. If we scroll down to the Edit Geometry section, there's a checkbox called Preserve UVs. Go ahead and turn that on. Now, let's move the face again. This time, the UVs stay in place instead of stretching. 3ds Match automatically adjusts the texture mapping to match the new geometry. It may cut or repeat parts of the texture, but it keeps everything looking consistent and clean. This is super helpful when you are doing last minute tweaks to a model that has already been textured, especially in architectural visualization where clean UVs are really important. One thing to note, preserved UVs works great for small edits like moving faces or tweaking vertex. But if you're doing big changes, like completely reshaping a mesh, most of the time you're going to get distortion. So always keep an eye on your textures while you're work. And that's it. The preserve UV option is a small checkbox, but it can make a big difference when you're editing your model and want to keep your textures looking good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.